Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Talk and Talk and today we have a Jaguar F-Type out with us. It is a limited edition 400, whatever that means. Um, rear wheel drive. I've been told that it's one of 25 in the UK that's rear wheel drive. Yeah. The rest of them are all wheel drive. Yeah, and apparently they're all special enough to feature a yellow badge saying 400 Sport on it. You'll see that later. You'll see that later. Um, lovely car, I've been out in a few times now. Sounds ridiculous. So it's got a 400 horsepower, a supercharged V6 engine. Does sound very good from the factory. Uh, stock exhaust is ridiculous on it. Probably around one of the best I've ever heard. As for the rest of the car, pretty standard F-Type really. What are your kind of thoughts on the F-Type, Bill? Looks wise, what's not to love yeah. about it? And if you hear a screaming V6 behind you. Gotta love a V6. And a being the facelifted uh, model, it does come with stuff like dynamic LED headlights, tail lights. Being a Jaggy also, it comes with a lot of problems. But uh, <laughs> owner not happy there in the background. Um, I mean, personally, I want to get out in this car now. I want yeah. to feel the car. I've not felt it yet. Yeah. yeah, and it's minus one freezing, so we're probably going to get in it and drive it. So, join us on the inside now. Right, anyways, you are now. <laughs> Joining us on the test drive of the F Type P400, 400P something. No, it's, not, it's not P400, it's, it's not the facelift one. Or it's not the new, new it's one. Not, yeah, it's a facelift, but it's not new, new. But I thought, oh, and it's turned itself off. Good. <laughs> it's quite stiff though. Yeah, but you, he's got it in. No, that's just the. Oh, that's no, the spoiler. <laughs> That's the so we're used to BMWs here, so this is all new stuff to us. The vents tried to shut on us as well, and we didn't know what to do, and they wouldn't, <laughs> they wouldn't reopen. I was like, oh, we're trying to mount the camera to the vent. No, nope, just whoo. And then 10 minutes later, I've speaking to the owner of the car, but I tell you, you have to go into the settings, press a button and then another button, then it allows you to uh, keep the vents open all the time. Seems like a bit of an over-engineered thing, to be honest, but I mean, what happened to the good old vents are just there yeah they were just there yeah but i mean they've got them just there they're not hidden here yeah they're not they're hidden not hidden here. over there but no. they've decided to hide the ones but, in the middle yeah Com completely pointless so this particular car as we said earlier no four-wheel drive rear wheel drive which is what what we like to hear and talk and talk yep and to get stuck on a kia benga brilliant well wow, fantastic i mean just driving it normally that's comfortable it's quiet ish only because we're at 1000 rpm give it some time to take it <laughs> I was the uh, real I mean, spinning. the zeros don't seem to like this too much today. No, honestly, PS4 S's over P zeros any day of the year, and they probably ride a bit better to be honest. Worth point, pointing out something as well. The owners pointed out so it's got the Meridian sound system in it, and that, um, that's the upgraded sound system. Yeah, so that's as well, the upgraded sound system, and he says it's a bit crap. Like he's actively tried to take it to Jaguar uh, and complained. And it's a 2017 car, which doesn't seem great. Um, yeah, it sounds like there's a bloke behind you singing into the back of your head. So, so a bloke behind us, Billy. But then again, I guess you don't buy this car for the sound system. You don't. You don't buy it for. Uh, don't buy it for the amount of buttons you press either. You buy it for that engine because German cars don't supercharge, and that's just a fact. Like they're all turbos. And me personally, obviously, Billy's Billy's gonna probably eat my head off for this but oh, I prefer right. a supercharger to a turbocharger because it has got that <laughs> noise to it which is great that's all right we'll put them both on the track and see how we get on oh no the m140 will shit on this but that's not the point <laughs> System that no one understands either because it's a 400, 400 P, what? No, seven. No, P, the P, that's no P, new, new no P, no P, no P, that's the sport mode. Oh, in dynamic mode, gauges all go red, which is pretty cool. Ambient lighting also goes red in the car. Oh, yeah, it was really talky as well. It just pulls straight through the rev range compared to like my car, for example, which is NA, doesn't have that sort of pull or go or get about is it. They're sitting there waiting for the revs and then, and then eventually it starts taking off. I mean, think about it, it sounds in this out the factory like this, like with a proper exhaust on it. Oh my god, well, I current owner doing 19 and a half miles to the gallon, which is about, about standing in any of our cars. And if we're all driving hard, you know, this F Type will do 19 and a half, the, my M6 will do 19, 
company as well with United, but it's all about the second you kind of take it out of that mode, you're just, you're just chilling, driving along without worrying the world, then they start making sense the reason why you start downsizing an engine. I mean, the yeah. dynamic of this car though is, is very, much, very comfortable. Yeah, it's I am comfort. very comfortable. Yeah, it's now in comfort, it's nice and comfy, like, um, the exhaust is turned off now because I put it in comfort. Really inconspicuously go about your day and whatever you do as a Jag driver, which is probably best friend's wife. <sighs> oh, great thing, great feature about this car, the world's smallest sun visors. <laughs> what the f <laughs> Same kind of call, I just want to see like, what sort of difference it makes. Oh, gearbox slowly to react. You know, did you feel that? How long that took? Yeah. Put my foot down, it was doing an SMG on me. <laughs> so, what do you think of the interior then, Bill? I quite like it because obviously, like, compared to my car, I, I know my car nothing like it. Yeah, it's quite nice. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. 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 It's like the Mercedes that we had on the channel a few weeks back, but actually probably even a couple of months ago, whenever yeah. it was. There's a lot of flip switches and I mean it's just stuff like that. So I can see the spoilers up, but it's not how it's refusing to go down. Jaguar electrics anyway. Yeah, I like, I like I like how they've got the the seat controls up here. Yeah, seat controls up here are really good, which is really nice rather than you feeling around for what yeah. you're trying to do is like that. Uh, that's one thing I kind of dislike about my car. Like, so. <laughs> it seems like it's got quite a delay. In it. Yeah, it's got quite. It's got quite. It's got a little bit of a delay when you put your foot down. It's not the worst. Not the worst. Definitely not the worst. Definitely not the worst. I just feel like the driving seat. It just feels. It feels good. Like. It's very agile, it's very responsive. Agile, yeah. it's very, in terms of steering, it yeah. feels like, oh, obviously I'm in passenger seat, so I can't yeah. tell 100% but it does feel very, very responsive. Yeah, it does. The paddles feel really nice as well. They seem like they're metal and they've been cut, which is lovely stuff. Compared to plastic in most cars. Ah, brilliant. <laughs> Play with the roof down, yeah. can confirm. You really can just sit back and relax. You can just relax, and this is ridiculous. Like, you're just driving along, it's comfortable. You've got that noise as well. You've got, I love with these things, and that's great. <laughs> <laughs> Quite good about the car, it's got an LSD. I did do my research on that bit, so <laughs> you can have one when you want to. There's no sound in the center of the car at all. Yeah. Oh, what? <laughs> yes, yeah, so as you can see, uh, pretty good fun. It grips quite well as well. <laughs> it's like just about an up grip as well, so there's a bit of play, but like it's still a good laugh. And the noise, oh my god, the noise. Bad points in the car then? Looks beautiful from the front. Yeah, gorgeous like, car from the front. I mean, then. yeah, beautiful on the outside. Beautiful on the inside. Just not very functional, I don't think, on the inside. No. I don't really know what's going on. It's here. just for driving, isn't it? That's it's just, it. yeah, yeah, that's it's just it. for driving, yeah, yeah. Once you've done all your settings and pressed all your buttons, well, it should be alright. No. Once you've got over the fact the radio is a bit crap, the rest of the I car. Mean, you can't get over that fact. You can't get over that. The radio is. The radio is shocking. It's shocking. But from what I've heard, there is a better Meridian. So this has got Meridian 330 watts. Apparently there is a Meridian system that's 800 watts, which is meant to be better. 880. Which is but my Golf that I've got, yeah. the sound system in that is better than this. Yeah. And that's standard Volkswagen sound system. Yeah. In a £26,000 car. Yeah. Let's see what they can get some uh... mm -hmm. Traction kicks in a bit earlier, isn't it? Let me turn that off. 
Yeah, so now we watch a 60,000 fan at the top going to a roundabout. <laughs> <laughs> That's more like it! So look, it's the traction control system just killing it then. Yeah. Yeah. So shows well BMW, the MDM mode, like the DTC mode, a bit better than this. This sport mode is a bit too aggressive, but it holds onto the power a bit too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it so also very clearly very understated car in uh, Epson Townsend to no one really looking at us. By that I mean everyone's looking. more like it. Take 510. <laughs> oh. Right, so you're joining us at the end of the day after spending a few hours in this. Well, what car really? Car. <laughs> yeah. Like, ri like ridiculous we've, power. We've reviewed all these cars and not one has been similar. Driving this around, well, being driven around in this, it's definitely noticeable. Yeah, definitely. Not like you go under the radar, like driving through the high street. And the thing is, I mean, why would you <laughs> look at it? It looks fantastic. And obviously this is in quite an understated color as well, being the black, but in like something like a, a red or even- I've only done it in three colors. Well, the one that's not the 400P X, whatever it is. Um, in any sort of color that's uh, not the black, um, just absolutely stands out entirely. But this just, looks ridiculous as well and especially, it, with the roof down. especially with the roof down like the noise of that v6 as well with the roof down hearing that supercharger just fill up but it's an experience in itself and it's comfortable it's like quiet when you want it to be yeah. um can't really compare it to anything else we've driven to be honest can't fathom out any button on the inside at all no idea what's going on there come to the end of the day now with the car tell us what you think in the comment section below let us know what you think like subscribe if you've got a car that you want us reviewing on our channel let us know on instagram <laughs> Thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next see one. You soon.